So for today we are going to install um, bathtub inclusive with the waist, uh, with the taps, with the shower, everything, everything completed. Okay, so we have our bathtub here. It's prepared. I have some fittings over there. I have my pop-up waist right here. Uh, the taps also are around here someplace. Shower. Okay, so this bathtub is going to be installed in a bathroom that has shower panels on and uh, the shower panels are all the way so when it's something like that you have to be very careful because you might get leaks usually with the panels you are going to start from uh, top of the bathtub to make sure that you don't have any leaks at a later stage but if you are careful, if you put it properly, you are not going to get any leaks. And um, you are going to see that uh, in this video. Okay, so first of all, I will start by sealing out all the corners, even the pipes. And that is just just in case if we are going to get any leaks under the bathtub we don't want for the water to go downstairs so everything I'm going to seal it right now with some silicon even those pipes there I just want to clean everything before starting So if the area is not going to be clean enough, then you might have a small problem because it might not stick uh, proper. So first make sure that everything is clean and then uh, uh, apply some silicon. Okay, so we are ready to go. I have my multi-purpose silicon here and ready to apply. And spray. Have here some glass cleaner. And I'm just going to take out the excess. Okay, so we just finished with this bit now. Uh, I'm going to do even the other side quickly. Okay, so that was our first stage. Second stage is to put the pop-up waste. Now, this is going to be the overflow and that is going to be on top of the bathtub right around here. And this is going to be at the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to remove this. This is the pop-up. Okay, so now I will start by removing the top bit. So this bit here is going to go at the back of the bathtub and this on top of the bathtub. Of course, when you put this bit, it will have to go with the ring rubber that you can find in the box and then you have another uh, ring rubber and one of silicon that is going to come uh, that is going to go on top I'm just going to show that to you so here you have other two washers that are going to go on top when I say on top that means inside the bathtub exactly here and it's just going to go right there. okay so we are ready to install our uh, waste 
the pop-up waste. Uh, before doing that, you just need to check uh, because you will not going to need both of these o-rings, the rubber o-ring. So you have a silicon one and the rubber o-ring here. Now, if you are going to install both of them, uh, it might be too thick and then water is going to stop there. So uh, you need to check which one is going to go uh, better. Um, you have to think that it will have to be as flush as possible with the bathtub so the water can just go through. So in my case, I'm just going to use the silicon o-ring that I have here. I'm not going to use the rubber. Now, before installing, I applied some silicon and I'm ready to install them. So I'm ready to install them now. I'm just going to put it back in all the way. And here is how it's going to look at the back and, and I'm just going to tighten it up as much as I can from this side. I think that is going to be enough. I'm just going to clean the excess silicon that is all around. Now add a little bit of silicon went out just try to clean it now before it's going to be too late I'm going to do that even at the back okay so next is the overflow that is here on top so I'm just going to remove the uh, flexi hose for now because it's on my way and I cannot film so I'm just going to remove also the top bit yeah. And I'm going to unscrew this top bit. So now we are getting two rubber washes. One is going to be on the on the side that is going to go at the back and one is going to be on the one that is going to be different. So same, same, if you want, you can apply a little bit of silicon on both of them. I will not do that, I don't think we need it. And I'm just going to put the top bit and I'm going to screw the bottom one. Okay, so that is done. I will just have to reattach our hose. And now we just have to install the trap. Okay, so here we have our trap. You have some rubber uh, washer on this side. This side is going to be attached, uh, installed on the waste. And um, here is going to go into the waste pipe. This one, don't forget, rubber washer. You need to have this one on and you are just going to put this on your waist okay i'm just going to leave it loose at the moment because i still need to put the waist pipe on i'm just going to close it like that okay so next we have to install our tap same 
you are going to get two rubber washers here one is going to go on top and one is going to go at the bottom so these two uh, so we need to take them out yeah and two that they are going to stay inside so this is going to go on top of the bathtub okay so right now we are ready to install the taps and we have them here with our rubber on and we just need to put it in like that and then the two rubbers that we have here the washers to go inside here one and two and then we have to tighten up everything Before you start to tighten everything, make sure that they are straight, they are not going to be um, too high or too low. Try to make them both on the same line. Adjust them a little bit. Okay, so right now I just need to lay down the bathtub carefully without breaking or scratching okay so this is going to be our layout before I'm going to forget I'm going to put the pop-up back next step is to connect the waste to the truck and this is the truck and this is the waste that uh, I already prepared and I will need to put the rubber washer on And the trap is just going to go like this inside. Okay, so we are under the bathtub and I'm just going to put this waste pipe outside that is going to be connected at a later stage to the soil pipe. And this is our trap. And that is going to be our connection. And one more job done. Okay, uh, so next I think we need to seal all the bathtub. So, uh, yes, I'm going to take the waste out again. Uh, I'm going to seal the bathtub, uh, make sure that it's going all against the wall and uh, there are not going to be gaps for the water to pass through and then I'm going to reconnect the waste pipe okay so I just cut myself um, two pieces of copper because I want to connect this uh, flexible uh, 50 to 22 connectors but I will need to put some pipe 
connecting into the ball of X. So I just need to tighten these up. And that is going to be enough. Now I'm just going to take the buff tub again out. Uh, so you can see better what is going on at the back. Usually you don't need to take it out and put it back again. But for, uh, for you guys to see it much better, I'm going to do that a few times. Uh, just to have a better view. Okay, so I believe now you have a better view. I'm just going to take these things out. Okay, so that's done. I just need to tighten them up. And these are just going to go like that into our tub. You have a rubber washer here and you don't need to tighten too much because you are going to cut it if you are going to tighten too much left side is the hot water right side is the cold water always remember that so now I'm ready to put my uh, bathtub on and um, connect it and I'm not going to take it out anymore Okay, so we have the cold water here. And the hot water. Okay, not too much tightening, because then it's going to be a problem. So before sealing everything. Uh, I'm going to prepare the shower. Now, with this type of shower, we don't need a mixer, and that means we can save some money. Uh, okay, so I have that. I will have to install the wall. I will have here a washer that is going to go inside. going to have the folders that are going to go on the wall. These are just going to go on the wall like that. As simple as like that. Okay, so before I'm going to go forward with the job, I'm going to prepare our shower. Uh, now this shower here, it's uh, 
going to be connected to the tab. Roblox Okay Finally, now we have to screw it back in, back into the wall. And voila. Now we just have to adjust the height and block with a couple of screws that are coming in the back. have some washer inside here so this is the connection between the shower and the uh, and the tap and this is our last piece for the shower uh, okay so we are going to seal now around the bathtub um, so we are going to cover all that stuff there I'll put as much as I can in between the wall and the actual bathtub. Okay, so now it's all filled, we just need to press it in. Now these are the legs, I'm just going to put some screws inside here and that is going to be locked in. So I just need to do that for now. Okay, let me see. And that's done. Alright, so our bathtub is installed. Uh, of course, with the with the shower uh, connected to the actual tub on on the bathtub, so the shower is going to work with the mixer tub on the bathtub. 
uh, everything is installed uh, everything is working fine and uh, you saw uh, I cannot say it's not that difficult but it's not hard at the end to install a bathtub like that it just needs a little bit of patience um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and of course subscribe 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 and if you have time press that like button just once see you on the next one